Hello students, welcome to Smart Engineering Tutorials. Today we are going to see another topic of Unit 1 of Communication Systems. It is a very common question in your theory papers and viva that what is the difference between a baseband and a passband signal or what is a baseband and a passband signal. Talking about the very first term, the baseband. Any message signal which is produced from directly from the source of information in its very basic or raw form is called as the baseband signal or we can say that the signal which is produced directly from the source of information without any modification is called as the baseband signal. The baseband term refers to the band of frequencies which are occupied by the basic message signal. A baseband signal is a low frequency signal and if we see its frequency spectrum we see that it is a band of frequencies centered around zero frequency. So if you see here from zero to omega m this shows the positive frequency band or the upper side upper, upper band upper side band of the uh, baseband signal and zero to minus omega m is the uh, envelope or the band of negative frequencies which we can say as the lower side band of the baseband signal. So if we talk about the baseband signal we can classify it into two types that is the analog form and of the digital form. The analog signal we know that it is continuous in amplitude and time. So the examples of this are the sound signals or the light signals and for transmission purpose over a wired channel they are converted into an electrical signal. Since uh, the wires are capable of transmission transmitting of electrical signals only. And the another form of baseband signal is the digital form. So the output produced by a digital computer comes under this category and it produces two values 0 or 1 and so it is called a binary signal. The example of a baseband communication is that of a walkie talkie. In baseband communication the original message signal is directly transmitted over the channel. Uh, it is not for long distance communication it is uh, limited to very short distances. We will see some frequencies. We know about the order frequency range. It is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is the audible frequency range which, which can be heard by the human ear. And the voice frequency range which is of uh, importance for the communication system. Here it is from 300 hertz to 3100 hertz. This is the speech signal of a male or female. So the designing of communication system is centered around this frequency range. The video frequency range is from 0 to 4.5 kilohertz. So we can say that the baseband signal is the signal in its very basic form produced by the source. Now coming to the another term which is the passband signal or it can also be uh, known as or another name for this is band pass signal. So a passband or a band pass signal is one which is obtained after the baseband signal is modified by some uh, modulation process. And what is the modulation process? We will discuss it in another video. So, the signal which is passed through the channel, that is the transmitted signal. This signal has its transmission band centered at a very high frequency. Since the baseband signal, if it has to travel larger distances, then this baseband signal or the original signal is sent with the carrier signal and carrier is a very high frequency signal. So actually what happens is frequency translation. So the baseband signal is translated from a low frequency zone to a high frequency zone. And hence we say that the transmitted signal which is used for transmission to longer distances is called as the passband signal or the band pass signal and it is centered around a very high frequency. So we say in this sentence we have written it here the passband signal is obtained in the transmitter. 
by the process known as modulation. Hence, in baseband transmission, the band of transmitted frequencies which are supported by the channel, it matches that of the message signal that is a low frequency signal and is meant for small distance communication like in walkie talkie. Whereas in passband transmission, it is centered at a very high frequency, much higher than the FM or omega M, which is the highest frequency component of the message signal. Now, example of passband signals are the AM, FM, PM or other modulated signals. And if we talk about the frequency spectrum of the passband signal, like here we have the 0 and we have the baseband signals frequency spectrum centered around 0 but for passband signal we say that it is translated to a very high frequency so let's say the high frequency that is the carrier frequency let's say it is fc and on the negative side it is minus fc so this baseband signal is translated and is centered around fc so here it is fc here it is fc plus fm and here it is fc minus fm you can write fm or omega m and if i talk about the this side here it is minus omega m so this is again centered at minus fc and this is omega m omega m so we can write on the number line it is minus fc uh, plus omega m and here it is minus fc minus omega m i have written omega but it is fm when we talk about f it becomes fm and if we write in terms of omega we can write all the frequencies in omega term so this center one i am saying this is the baseband uh, frequency spectrum whereas the pass band one is this it is translated to this high frequency of fc and this one this side represents the uh, upper side band this is lower side band which we will be discussing more in other lectures and this one is the mirror image of this so in this way we can say that pass band signal is a result of modulation purpose so in this way we can differentiate both the signals and thank you for seeing this lecture and subscribe to my channel for further notifications and don't forget to give a like if you like this video thank you